Alright guys, it is D-Rez Gaming coming back at you here with uh, Blade and Soul. Uh, this was actually just released today, and so I'm just going to go ahead and get into it. So just a quick overview of character creation and things like that. I don't mean to over talk the system here, but um, it, basically you have your four races, the Jin, the Gon, the Lin, and the Yun. Um, so you can kind of break it up to humans. These guys are, I don't know, when bigger humans, giant kind of people, I think. The Lin, the Lolly class, this is a Korean based game, so Lolly animal kind of things, they change as to, you know, different ears, different things. You know, and the Yoon are kind of like the, I guess I would kind of classify them as elves, they're taller, um, but they can only be a female. The rest of them can be male or female. But, I'm just going to go ahead and go through their classes really quick. You have your assassin, obviously the rogue class. Warrior class for the blade master. Um, kind of hand-to-hand -hand combat warrior class for Kung Fu Master. Um, then you have Force Master. This one's kind of hard to classify, but it, it does look pretty fun, but unfortunately I don't feel like I'm going to play it in the starting off. Then you do have your Destroyer. Your tanky kind of class. Kind of wreck everything. Um, then you have your Blade Dancer. Oh, they're actually pretty cool. I might pick this. Not really much in in this back. And it tells you kind of how difficult it is to play the class too, so that's good. Um, summoners, so if you want to compare it, you can kind of compare it to Beastmaster Hunter for a while. Um, Force Master, we kind of went through that. Like the elemental users. Oh, that's what you classify it as. The uh, sorcerer class, mage class. Kung Fu Masters and the Blade Master. You kind of go through that. I'm going to go ahead and start off with an assassin. Make the characters. Um, a lot of the hairstyles and a lot of the presets are based off of other characters. I mean, this one kind of reminds me. Of, oh, that's way too close every time. Uh, kind of reminds me of Zack Fair. You have your Cloud Strife haircuts. You have even Wolverine. And, and if you really want me to prove it, Wolverine, one, two, three scars right there. Um, but yeah, there's different other ones. This one, Hulk Hogan, is what this reminds me of. But that's just me. But yeah, there's there's a bunch of different ones. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and try to design one that looks close to me. No, not that one. That would probably be the most like me. Um, ooh, baby face. As far as looks go, need something with oh, good eyebrows though. Probably something like that. To be honest with you. Uh, doesn't look exactly like me, but hey. Uh, skin tone's fine, hairdo, color's fine, body type. Um, a lot of these guys look like anorexic, super skinny, I really don't like that. But then again, this is a Korean based game and most agents are pretty small, like body type wise, size wise. So um, I'm just going to go ahead and go with the most rounded one, or the one I feel is most rounded. Um, facial decorations. Oh yeah, you can change their eyes. So let's go ahead here. And I know some of you will recognize these. If you're not, that might help. And that look familiar, eh? All those anime fanboys and fangirls out there. 
Uh, but I'm going to go ahead and keep it normal, and we're going to go with my eye color, which is brown. Um, eyebrow types. I don't look menacing. Oh, Rockley, really? That looks fine. Uh, facial hair. My beard's a little bit thick. There we go. Uh, cosmetics, I don't need that. Looks fine. Yeah, that's fine. Facial decorations. If I want to give them any scars or any tattoos, I'll just... Nah, I don't need tattoos. None. Okay, everything else. Oh, there's a lot of sliders for those people who like to mess around with the sliders. The only thing I want to change is the lip size. My lips are a bit thicker. And the jaw width size, because my jaw... My square, my head's a little bit more square than that would be fine. Okay, and go back into customize. Uh, ah, okay, we can build the frame a little bit better. I'll just leave it at five, six or six or so. That's better. That looks well rounded. Oh, and this is another thing. They do have a background set up here. You can change the different backgrounds, change the different poses, different outfits to start off with. Obviously these are not the outfits that you start off with, start off with, but this is what you have to look forward to. There to go, Michael Jackson. Yeah. Um like I said, you could change the outfits and then you could change the voice of them. I'm ready for adventure. Nope. For honor and for glory. No. My enemies will fall before me. That's not. My path has been chosen. That's probably going to be our winner right there. Danger? Good. I love danger. Yeah, no. Do you bleed? You will. Uh, yeah. The heavens watch over me. No, I wish. It's like velvet. Pain fades. Victory is eternal. Yeah, let's gonna go with this one. My path has been chosen. Uh, seems like a little kid. Do you bleed? You will. Uh, seems like a little kid, but older than him. Oh, uh, we'll just go with that. Um, and Hajun, the server that we're gonna be playing on, and let's see if anybody has my name. Character create. Yes. Okay, well then I'm going to go ahead and do what I always do if my name is taken. I'm going to use the one that I use on League. Cool. There we go. Alright, I'm going to go ahead and leave you guys off here for now. Apparently there's a queue that you have to go ahead and go through um, in order to get into the game. But uh, yeah, uh, once we go ahead and get in, I'll get right back with you, okay? See you in a bit.